Hi, Hiram here. Last couple of days I've been doing some tests on this Alec 7-piece camping cook set where I've made some modifications to it. I punched holes and instead of using the original uh, pot plate or whatever you call this, support plate, instead of using this, I've been using a couple of wires that I just insert through the holes that I punched, just like so. Oops, I think I put the wrong wire in the wrong wire. Because this cook set isn't symmetric, I had to mess around with the placement of the holes. But anyway, this is what I did. But when I showed the uh, camera two view through here of the Trangia burner, a lot of people have said that it kind of looks like the burner's not getting enough air. Now when you look in this, let me take it apart here, there's lots of openings here that go around the Trangia. But this part sits on top of this part which has the same holes, but when you look at it on the side all you have are these couple of holes. So when you look at it, it does seem like maybe there's not as many holes in this as there in the, is in this. So maybe it's not getting enough of a draft up through to keep the Trangia burning well. So what I'm going to do today is basically a repeat of the last test that I did with my wires up here higher, which would be at the same level as what the original support plate was but I'm going to lift the whole cook set up and just throw it on this stand. This lets it stand there, you know, just to see what happens. Now with this, there should be plenty of air come in through the side, or through the bottom rather, and up through. We'll see if that makes a difference as far as the boil time. So what I'll do now is get this all set up, get my water prepped, and I'll be right back to do a test. Okay, I have my water setting at 60 degrees. Let me light the Trangia and let's wait for it to get to a bloom. And like I said, just for expediency, I just threw it on top of this little stand so that it elevates the uh, cook set, the outside burner rather, the pot stand I guess, up off the ground. So now there will be plenty of air to go through. Okay, got a bloom there. So I've got two cups of water setting at 60 degrees and let's see where this goes. We're now at three minutes into the burn and the temperature is up to 109 degrees starting at, from starting at 60. I don't know the flames look maybe a little bit better. Uh, I don't know it's kind of hard to tell this burner is all yellow for some reason. Just get that with Trangias. But, uh, well, I forgot to mention the temperature here, the ambient temperature is 80 degrees and 56% humidity. So let's see where this goes from here. And here we have 210, 211, 212, and 633. Hmm, that surprises me. This is starting to be a little baffling. Okay, let me shut this off so I can get a fluid level. Okay, on that time, two cups of water starting at 60 degrees took 6 minutes and 33 seconds. On the previous test, same configuration in the top holes, but without the elevated base, Two cups of water starting at 60 degrees took 6 minutes and 36 seconds. So that's about, I would say it's the same time. Hmm. I don't know. I, I just don't know what's going on here. It, I mean, obviously now it's got to have, be, it's got to be getting plenty of air. So I would have thought that it would give me a little better time than yesterday. But it's just about the same time. Maybe this is as fast as it'll go, six minutes, six and a half minutes. Okay, this is just tilted a little bit. There we go. Now the other thing 
the Bebopper had said, but I think he was kidding, or he had said about go ahead and put a fan in it. And I had said that I could use this muffin fan like this flat and have it set on top of this. But I really think he meant something smaller. Sorry, just thinking here. You would think that when they designed this stuff or they put something like this together, they'd make sure that they had the same amount of volume of air coming in through these holes as what can come up through the center. I mean, that would just be good basic planning. But here I elevated it so that it gets all the air at once, and it didn't make much difference. Hmm. So I thank you for watching. I look forward to your input on this, what you all think is going on here. Maybe it just doesn't get any better. But I thank you for watching. I look forward to your input, questions, remarks, helpful suggestions. And as always, watch for my buddy Max. Bye now.